Good evening. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely the final day of our half term children's week. I hope it's been as fun for you as it's been for us. We've certainly enjoyed ourselves. So the last two books didn't really fit in. The other two have kind of come in pairs and these two don't fit together, but they do fit in in general. And the first one is um, a book I reviewed ages ago, but before I started doing the video, so I'm just going to highlight it again because um, it's so wonderful and it's very visual, so I want to share the feast with you. Um, and so the first one... Oh, my Kindle's going to mess about now. The first one, if I can get the lighting to behave, is called Groundhog Secrets. Um, so this is a non-fiction for children, and it's everything you always wanted to know about woodchucks. And I have to say, I was a bit sniffy about this because, well, I don't want to know much about groundhogs. Um, but they're fascinating animals. I'm thrilled that I read the book. Um, and Leave um, Snellings, who's written it, is just a really um, passionate photographer. So it has this lovely mix of real photographs um, mixed in with um, sort of animations and, and things. And it's as if um, the groundhogs, uh, or woodchucks, or you can call them either, um, it's as if they're talking and telling us about their lives. So it's very funny, um, very, um, just very um, charming. It's, it's just lovely. We enjoyed reading it. We learn a huge amount. Um, they're not an animal native to our country, so we didn't know much about them. Um, but the book is fascinating. It's beautiful. We love meeting Margot. Um, we learnt lots and we laughed lots. Um, and it's just charming. And I would definitely read more of Leaf's work because it's just it's just hilarious. Um, but really informative as well. It's 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 I have to say it's up there with one of the best non fictions for children that I've read. Because if if they wanted to do a topic at school and they could access information as beautifully delivered as this, and as funny, and as easy to um, engage with, um, we would be absolutely laughing. I mean, some of the pictures are just hilarious. This guy's hilarious. Um, but the information is very accessible, and we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And now we know quite a lot about um, groundhogs, which is fascinating. I mean, it's got everything you could need to know in there. Um, you know, all the facts and figures, but just delivered in a really great way for children. So that is the first book to share with you. Um, and the second book to share with you is actually um, more than one. So you can buy these individually. Um, it's not going to go straight to the thing now because we're, we've read two of the three books. So this was a um, compilation version. So it's Henry Baker and the Magic Pencil. And why aren't you showing me? I just want my cover, thank you. Um, and we really loved Henry Baker. We immediately kind of engaged with him and liked him because he um, he's not the he's not the most popular kid in school, um, and he doesn't like football. And my son doesn't doesn't play football, and so I think they immediately bonded amongst this. You know, just not that you don't fit in, but you just don't kind of like what everyone else likes. Um, so this, as I say, this is three of the books all together. We brought them together, um, and there's you can, but you can buy them separately. So these are Henry Baker stories by Nicky Moxie. Um and um, the first one is about magic football boots. But basically, Henry finds a pencil on his way to school one day, and it's a magical pencil, and whatever he draws um, ha happens, but not necessarily in a very predictable way. Um, and so, I mean, you can do anything with that idea, can't you? It's a genius idea. Um, and Henry's just a really great kid. He's quite geeky and quite um, nerdy um, and not the most popular kid in school. But um, I liked him. I warmed to him very quickly. Um, and he, he's, you know, he's in a lovely family and he now has these adventures and it's just great. It's, it's wonderful fantasy for children, but there's enough reality there for them to really identify with it, really feel very comfortable with the, all the situations. And um, certainly for us, it sparked loads of ideas around, you know, what we would draw if we had a magic pencil, what would we need to be careful of, what would we not draw, um, whether we would tell anyone. That was an interesting conversation. Is that something that you would share? Um, would they tell me if they found a magic pencil? 
Um, and so it was really interesting and it provoked really interesting discussions. Um, that was with my older two, we had interesting discussions, but I read it out loud to my five-year-old and she really enjoyed the idea of it as well and she's just getting really confident with drawing um, and so she immediately wanted to pretend that she had a magic pencil so they all now have magic pencils um, you know and, and it was really really I think it's an excellent idea and, and it's beautifully delivered and it's so accessible that my children certainly just completely ran with it they just loved it um, there's another set of three which we will be getting and I hope Nicky will um, deliver more from Henry Baker because I think he's a great, great character for children.